I think I was in a little bit of a funk pre-move and I didn't trust them. Um, I didn't trust putting my husband under the knife again with them. Welcome to our home. I am going to give you guys a tour of our Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a house tour. You guys have been asking me for this for a long time, so I finally am getting to it. I have the girls home with me. I've been wanting to do it when I had an empty house and that is just a very rare thing here. So we're gonna just power through and do it and hopefully they haven't messed up anything. <laughs> the house isn't perfect, but um, you know, it's, it's halfway decent. So come on in. <laughs> yes. Are you stuck? Oh goodness. Mona gets wow. to everything, so hopefully we don't find her in anything, huh? Okay, so this is when you first walk in the house. Yes. <laughs> And then over here to the right is a dining room. I still have um, some boxes and stuff that need to get put away. We have a lot of stuff to do still, but um, it's coming along. And then this is, as you can see, the upstairs. But first, I think we will we'll go this way into the kitchen. So I'm just doing a quick voiceover for this part of the, the kitchen tour because I left the microwave fan on and it was kind of hard to hear what I was saying, but this is just walking in from the dining room into the kitchen. You can kind of walk in um, two ways and I'll show you that in a second. And this is just a little kitchen nook area that we kind of eat breakfast and um, sometimes we eat dinner here as well. and that's the entire kitchen. I know you guys have pretty much seen most of this because I have posted um, videos cleaning in here. Um, but when you're standing at the bar, this is the living room. I just rearranged in here. And it's got the vaulted ceilings, which is really nice, and then a balcony that can see um, both sides of the house. So, and then uh, the kitchen, I'll explain to you, kind of goes, you can go in and out two different ways. So you can come in that door, you know, or come around this way. So going around, this is the living room, and then the front door. And my favorite part of this house has always been the balcony. And then that's another room up there, um, right above the kitchen. <laughs> you getting comfy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I said comfy. Good comfy? Okay. So, I'll give you, I did have all the pillows picked up <laughs> and everything before I started filming this. I knew I knew it was only a matter of time, but as long as they're happy. <laughs> Mona, say hi. That's her new horse, her grandpa brought over and she absolutely loves it. And then off to the side of the living room, you can go two ways. You can go left and there's a bathroom here and a laundry room on the first floor. And this is a storage closet. I'm not gonna show you this because I'm working on it. But this is just a little powder room. Hi. <laughs> um, it's 
pretty decent size. No, nothing real special in here. And I'm not going to show you the laundry room because I'm actually filming a um, revamp of it. But this is just walking from the laundry room. And then this is the master bedroom. And I finally, I got my desk. I put this desk together. You guys would be so proud of me. <laughs> That's where I do all my editing and try to work. And I saved these lights from Christmas. I just fell in love with them and I love them. And then the bed, this bed is amazing for Chris. Um, I'll show you guys <laughs> Mona Mona had this so this bed I think I was telling you guys about it in another video I'm not sure if I posted it or not but it basically does everything um, let's see hopefully you'll be able to tell the feet come all the way up <laughs> like basically folds in half um, but sometimes yes all the way up and then the head I don't know how far I'm gonna put push the head because I don't want my pillows to get all jacked up <laughs> but you can see that it just it does everything it vibrates hear that <laughs> and then I just push this and it'll all go back and then it has light I'm sorry my girls are screaming it has lights at the bottom yeah of the bed and then there's like a USB cord and all that stuff so then we walk over here and this is the master bathroom um, and that's the closet. Chris is in there, so I'm, I'm not gonna go in there, but you guys seen that in, in the videos too. <laughs> and there's Mona getting into things. She's always getting into things in all my videos. I love it. I got this. I've been wanting one of these plants for forever I got one I got it at TJ Maxx and it was really inexpensive I love it Mommy. and then these are also from TJ Maxx these were like I think they're on clearance but they're so pretty Mommy. yes you being naughty okay so now we walk out of here I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this this is a new TV stand. I put this together myself too. <laughs> and we're gonna go upstairs. And I'll just show you guys like what it looks like up here. It's really pretty. <laughs> you waving so when you come upstairs you can go this way or you can go this way and I'm gonna take you over here this is um, actually I'll show you this too that's the front window and then it has these really pretty shelves I love those and then like an open window but you come in here and then this is, we just use this for um, basically so the kids can like have a little space to come play their video games or watch TV or kind of maybe have some alone time. I uh, don't let Mona come in here cause it makes me nervous. Um, so we put a lock on it, but you can see 
down here. There's shelves up here and a random teddy bear apparently because, yep, <laughs> it's my kids. But it's really pretty. This house is um, just very calming and um, just a beautiful space. But, and look, there's my phone. <laughs> Mona took my phone up here. <sighs> I was gonna sweep up here and I, I didn't do it. Okay, so then you come out here. And. See down there. And then we're gonna walk this way. Excuse this random. <laughs> okay, my camera just um, was out of space. So I had to delete some stuff on my camera, cut off. Um, but yeah, this is just a sitting area. Um, we've got some shelves that we need to hang up, stuff like that. And then come in here. And this is the girls' room. She loves that thing right there. And then come over here and yeah, you can see just another view, like on the balcony and then these windows are really pretty. And then you come in here and this is the boys room. These shelves were just put in for them. We're still trying to figure out how to organize them and um, I gotta get, we're just still working on things, still trying to decorate and all that stuff. But I love their um, baskets and the shelves are just so nice. They were really excited to have this room and like decorate it and all that stuff. Coming over here, this is just like a window seat and then there's storage for them in there. And sometimes a little drafty, so we put this um, heater in here. But these are their beds. And then they both have a desk. Um, they both have their own drawers together, but it's separate for them. So they were really excited about that. And Jeremy actually drew that Doritos sign. Both, Actually, both of those things for art. So... But it's really cute in here. I love it. I'm trying to get the best <laughs> view for you guys. And that's it. That is the house. Today we are doing a house tour, finally. I've been trying to get to this forever. It's been a challenge just because, um, one, I've been waiting on some furniture to put together, like the kids' room and um, this desk. Actually, I don't, you can kind of see it. The desk is new. Um, anyway, just putting things together, getting the house unpacked, all the things. Um, I've been working on that very hard and with four kids and them going to school. And um, now we have to drive them to and from school. So um, my days are really <laughs> um, just very t like tight. I've got to schedule things and, you know, really work hard to get things accomplished so <laughs> um yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video i know it's you I, I don't really think i even touched on where we're moving and all that stuff in any of my videos i may have i may not have 
um, but I was so busy before the move just working on getting the house decluttered and just getting rid of stuff. I really wanted to get rid of so much stuff um, and it was a lot of work. So, and with everything going on with Chris, I kind of, um, for the most part was doing it by myself. The kids helped a lot. Chris helped where he could, um, but you know, I was just really focused on that. Plus it was like, um, the moving process was like right after Christmas. Um, I was doing all the prepping but like around Christmas and you know Christmas is just like crazy um, on its own. So um, yeah, we are living here temporarily. I don't know how long we're going to be here. Um, hopefully not long, but it could be longer than I um, anticipate. I just don't know. Um, we're, we moved to North Carolina. Yep, <laughs> we're back in North Carolina. Um, we decided with everything going on with Chris's back um, that we wanted to move back near our parents and just kind of have their support. Um, there's a doctor here that I want Chris to see. Um, his Somebody we know had a similar surgery from this doctor and it went flawlessly. Um, and I just honestly, I wanted to get out from under the doctors that he was going to once he got that infection and had all the complications after his surgery i just didn't trust them um i didn't trust putting my husband under the knife again with them and i know that he's going to need surgery again so that was honestly the biggest thing with our move um just uh, we, we got to get him better that's that's where we're at i got to get my husband better he wants to get better and all this back stuff is honestly new to us and we're just, you know, going with the flow. I did not anticipate Chris um, like having such problems after his surgery. I've heard of so many people having surgeries and they're, it just goes fine. Um, so him almost dying and going to sepsis and being in the hospital for a month and then just not bouncing back after surgery just like blew my mind so um anyway with all that said we decided to come back to north carolina and um just be very close to family we are staying with some family right now so i hope you guys enjoy the house tour i love this house it is very near and dear to my heart and i'm just really happy to be here i'm happy to be close to our family i'm happy that um the kids get to experience family because honestly since chris and i got married we kind of moved um because of work we've always been kind of far from family um for a while we were like maybe an hour and a half away which isn't that far we got to see them quite often but then we moved to pennsylvania and that was like eight hours away and then we were still kind of far from family in pennsylvania too so um, it's nice that they get to kind of have that relationship and see their grandparents and yeah so uh i don't know where we're going to end up once this is all done right now my main focus is like settling the kids um which they have really settled so easily like this is i anticipated so like such a um disastrous move with them like that it was gonna be so hard on them and they just they just settled so well. I moved at their age and I was like devastated. <laughs> I was like traumatized and um, that's what I was prepping for for them and they were not like that at all. They were so excited to move. They were ready for it. We actually moved early because we were going to move when they ended school in May and they were so excited about the move and were asking us to move right away that we just decided to um, do it mid-year. Uh, which was not what I, we wanted to do at all. And um, yeah, it's just, honestly, it's worked out really good with them. They were my biggest, um, you know, they were my biggest worry is, you know, as far as them adjusting and all that stuff. So, and the good part with all this is that Penelope was able to start school and she is so cute and she's loving it so much. She gets to go to the same school with her brother. So it's just like, it's such a joy to see. I'm so happy for her because I wanted her to go to school in the beginning of this year. And Chris had surgery like right before the kids started school. And then ended up in the hospital like right in the beginning of school. So it was just like crazy town. And trying to send her during all that 
was it just wasn't happening so i was really just so thankful and blessed that um you know she's able to go like she's so she's so happy she was so ready for it and she's just embraced all of it like she was not nervous at all it was so cute i wish i could have recorded it for you guys because she was just like just okay let's go i'm ready i'm so excited no nervousness nothing so um anyway i hope you enjoy this little update um if things change and i figure things out like with chris and his doctors and all that i definitely keep you guys posted in my videos um i do want to branch out and do more different contact i hear my girls crying so i'm up i mean screaming <laughs> they're probably like fighting yeah um yeah so i will keep you guys updated on everything um i think i was in a little bit of a funk pre-move and it was just hard for me to open up and like just explain everything to you just because i was so busy and just you know sometimes life is hard and it can get you down and i feel like i was in that type of funk before so okay guys i have to wrap up this video because the girls need me but i hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed the house tour and i will see you in the next one bye